Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. Uh, in my previous video, we discussed about the basic concepts related to binary coded decimal technique or the BCD coding technique or the 8421 coding technique. In this video, we are going to discuss about another coding system which is very 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 similar to the BCD coding technique, but there is a subtle difference okay? and that coding technique is called as excess free code. Okay? So the name itself excess free, it explains everything about this coding system. The difference between BCD and XS3 lies in this part. XS3 means 3 extra. 3 extra to BCD. It means that. Okay, so we can say that BCD minus XS3 is this 3 which is extra, which is excess. So, how it happens, we will see. Okay. So, let us say we have been given a decimal number. Let us say it is, we take a simple number. 1, let us say simple number, decimal number 1. Okay. In BCD system, we will represent this decimal number 1 as 4 bit binary code 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay. We will represent it as 0, 0, 0, 1. That is, this is in BCD. Now, in XS3, in excess 3, what happens is that we add 3 to this 1, 1 plus 3, this is the excess 3 that we add to 1, the result is 4. Now, we do not represent 1 in terms of the 4 bit binary code, we represent so, now we represent this excess code 1 plus 3, the result that we get after adding an extra 3 to the original decimal number in terms of 4 bit binary code that is 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay? So, you mark the difference, the same decimal number 1 which is represented as 0, 0, 0, 1 in the BCD coding system, the same decimal number 1 is represented as 0, 1, 0, 0 in the XS3 coding system. Why? Because we add this 3 extra to this decimal 1, this XS3 value, this XS3 or extra 3 or whatever you call it. Okay, we add 3 to 1, it, the result is 4 and then we represent decimal number 4 in terms of 4 bit binary code which is 0, 1, 0, 0. This is the excess 3 representation of decimal 1. Let us say we have another decimal number. Let us say we have um, 9. Let us say we take decimal number 9. In BCD coding system, in BCD, we represent this decimal number 9 directly as 1, 0, 0, 1. In BCD system, this happens. Directly we represent as 1, 0, 0, 1. But in XS3, we add 3 to 9, the result which we get is 12, then we represent 
this 12 in 4 bit binary code that is 1100 okay 1100 the x 3 representation of the decimal number 9 is 1100 in x 3 form it is represented as 1100 the same decimal number 9 which is represented as 1001 in bcd system in x 3 system it is represented as 1100 because we add 3 to the decimal number the result which we get that is 12 is represented using the 4 bit binary code okay let us say we take a, a decimal number as 43 let us say we take a decimal number 43 so what do you think the result will be hmm? what do you think so if you think like this it happens in uh, bcd we represent it as 4 and 3 we write the two digits separately and then we write the 4 bit binary codes for it that is 0 1 0 0 and 0 0 1 1 okay this is how we do it in bcd form okay so the bcd representation is 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 this is how it happens in bcd so in xs3 it should happen like uh, 43 we add 3 to it it becomes 46 hmm? so then we write 4 and 6 separately this will become 0 1 0 0 and this will become 0 1 1 0 so this is how it should happen in xs3 this is how it should happen in xs3 isn't it we just add 3 to it but 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 this is wrong this is right the bcd approach is right but this xs3 approach is wrong this approach is wrong okay this is correct okay the bcd system is correct we just separated the two decimal digits or symbols and we wrote the four bit binary codes for each of the decimal digits and then we combine it this is correct this whole thing is correct this upper portion is correct but this is wrong the correct approach is we do not add 3 to the entire number ok it is not like this 43 plus 3 6 it is not like that how it should happen is that you write 4 and 3 separately you add 3 to each of the individual digits individual symbols you add 3 here that is 7 and you also add 3 here which is 6 ok you add 3 to 4 it becomes 7 you add 3 to 3 it becomes 6 now you write the 4 bit codes for 7 and 6 ok now we have to write the 4 bit codes for 7 and 6 so it is 0 1 1 1 and this is 0 1 1 0 so the xs3 representation of 43 is 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 0 ok suppose we have a decimal number 1 2 
5 okay we have a decimal number and we have to find its equivalent excess 3 representation okay so what we'll do is that we'll write the individual symbols separately we will add 3 to each so this becomes 4 this becomes 5 and this becomes 8 and then we'll write the 4 bit codes for 4 5 and 8 the results that we get after adding 3 to each of the individual digits so 4 and 4 bit coding system is 0 1 0 0 5 is 0 1 0 1 and say, uh, 8 is 1 0 0 0 so the excess 3 representation of the decimal number 125 is 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 0 okay so here you don't make the mistake of writing it as 125 plus 3 is equal to 128 and then you do 1 2 8 and write the 4 bit course it will be wrong so don't make this mistake okay so here we have discussed some of the basic concepts associated with the excess 3 coding system and how to represent a given decimal number using excess 3 coding system okay so i hope you like this video and uh, please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics communication and instrumentation engineering have a great day thank you very much